And welcome back to my channel guys guys um if y'all don't know or most of you probably do I did a big job like two years ago roughly okay maybe two years and a couple months ago I'm gonna insert the picture somewhere and don't get me wrong my hair grew but i kept damaging my hair and this is how my hair looks right now like it is damaged like the curls okay so i think i'm rushing ahead of myself so basically this video is to tell you guys a little backstory on why i decided to do what i'm doing right now and why i decided to basically pay attention or pay yeah, pay attention. I was going to say pay more attention to my natural hair, but I'm going to just put that pay attention because I do not pay attention to my natural hair. Like, no. So this video is going to be why I'm doing this. Um, You guys will see the process of what I'm doing and uh, hear about my new hair journey, natural hair journey. Okay, so if you guys like to hear about my natural hair, <laughs> then please keep on watching if you're not here for the natural hair vibes then you could go ahead and watch my wig installations because i do do wigs as well if you're new to my channel but if you are here for the natural hair then continue watching okay guys so this is my hair this is not washed this is dirty disgusting hair right now like dirty dirty disgusting i literally just took it out of a braid um i'm gonna show you guys like how it looked like the length of it while it was in the braid and all of that i'm gonna add that somewhere i just took it out the braid and the braids um just took off my wig today and everything so sis is like rah rah right now <laughs> um i decided to do a chop on my hair or a trim i'm not gonna say a chop i'm gonna do a trim this time i don't want to start from square one again i'm gonna do a trim um and i'm going to try to revive my curls because i've been pretty much neglecting my natural hair so basically i was uh, well i do wigs as you guys know and when i'm doing my wig the only thing i do is just take off the wig watch my wash my hair oil it and then put back the wig on like that's what i've been doing and it helped my hair to grow a lot because my hair grew a lot but i don't think i was taking proper care of my hair um and it was growing but not growing as fast as it could and not as thick and healthy as how i want to be like when i just did my big chop my hair when my hair was growing it was thick and curly very like thick and curly and i loved it um but somewhere along the line <laughs> i don't know what happened but i stopped like i was just focusing more on the wigs and it ended up just being that the wigs like i didn't care for my natural hair pretty much so it was mostly about the wigs um and then this summer I started doing um tapings so not only am I not really taking care of my natural hair I decided to do tapings because one I'm making money from it because <laughs> when the companies you know when they send me the hair blah, 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 I get paid to do it so I was making money from it and I was like focusing on grinding but at the same time it's like grinding is good and all but grinding and losing yourself in the process is not healthy uh, yeah so I was basically not taking care of my hair and was just focusing on the grinding part of my life um and i got taping to do and i did it the first time i did it it was fine i did it on myself straightened my hair all of that it was fine and i think it was because this was my first time straightening my hair in years so when i 
when I revived back my curls, like it came back. Like, you know, it came back. It wasn't, and I wasn't, the thing is, when I just did that tapings, I was not like straightening my hair all the time. Like I straightened my hair the one time that I was going to do the, the video for the tapings. And then after, I didn't put any more straightening, like no more heat in it. I just left it until it was time to wash my hair and get back the curls. So I feel like that's why my curls came back. Um, the second time I did it, I kept straightening my hair. I straightened my hair like twice in maybe like a week. And I remember I straightened my hair, went to the gym and because it, it sweat all like you know obviously because of the humidity my hair got poofy so it was straightened in the morning like an idiot or like the day before like an idiot I went to the gym and then in the nighttime I had to straighten it again um and I got that install done by somebody and yeah it was like straightening straightening my hair two times back to back pretty much um and I washed my hair but I wasn't really paying attention to see if like the curls came back or anything like that like I was just doing it um and the third time i did it again and my that hair just she actually trimmed my hair because my hair was long but she trimmed it i think she trimmed it to, she trimmed it and it looked good like looked good and everything but i kept straightening it and then the last one i did was a body wave wig so i straightened and then curled it like who what huh like an idiot so i felt i feel like that was pretty much what brought my hair to this day where the curls are like all over the place the curls don't because when i did the, to try to get it back mm, weird like some part had tight curls the next part had loose curls some had like almost like it was just no and not too long ago maybe like a week or two ago i actually did a v part week and i straightened the burnt part of my hair again my hair is like literally crying out right now um so yeah that's the backstory on why my hair looks like this and why i need to treat my hair and pay attention to my hair basically so i have a um it's called um amla i think it's amla or alma one of them i'll probably put it on the screen but i'll show you guys when i'm doing the mixture and everything um but i have that and i'm going to use that as a mask and i'm gonna wash my hair with regular shampoo and conditioner because this hair journey just started today and like i said i'm using what i have the only thing i bought was like some scissors from amazon because i was not about to use any any scissors to cut my hair so i bought some scissors to cut it and i'm waiting on that actually it's not even here is it um yeah so I'm gonna put the mask, wash my hair, trim it, and then see what I can do. And hopefully pay more attention to my hair. Wish me luck. I'm back after a couple hours. I changed into these black t-shirt because I don't want it to mess up. Ugh. Like, I don't want the color. The color of the, 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 the mask that I'll be using is disgusting. And I'll show you guys in just a minute. And I don't want that to get on my white t-shirt. Because even though it's not good, like, I don't want to see it that dirty. If you get what I'm saying. So, the product that I'll be using today in my hair is the Amla powder. And this is a... It's a herbal supplement. And you can use it on your hair. You can use it on your face and you can use it to cook it's an indian um herbal supplement that they use and i got it from amazon i'll link it down in the description box as well and i mixed it with this oil you could use whatever oil you have to be honest i just didn't want my hair to be dry and brittle because some got on my hand and it can literally it dries your hair so yeah this is the paste that I made. It looks very disgusting. Like, it looks disgusting. But that is the consistency. Um, And that's what I did. I used the oil. And so I added boiling water. But it wasn't that hot. But I, I added hot water and some oil and this oil is made from jamaican black castor oil apricot kernel oil 
jojoba oil lavender essential oil and vitamin e and i just mixed it with it i didn't have a lot but that's what i put in it just because i didn't want it to dry up my hair and also it helps with the mixture i'm trying to not cut my hair so hopefully if this mask helps it then i won't cut it but yeah so i'm gonna just go in with it and you have to make sure see i already it's that drop palm up my clothes you have to also make sure that you're wearing a gloves because the videos that i saw with it like it actually um it can stay in your hand and you don't want that so yeah someone said it's good for your roots as well so if it touches your roots then it's fine Okay, so I'm done putting in the product in my hair. A little bit cut on my face, but it's fine. What I'm going to do is you could use a stocking cap. Not a stocking cap, you could use a shower cap or whatever, like one of those caps, that steam caps, whatever. I don't have one. I'm going to use a plastic bag because imagine I do here and I don't have any shower cap. Huh? So I'm going to wrap this up and pretty much, um, yeah. Okay guys, so this is maybe like an hour and some minutes after. Oh, I could already feel it. Oh my god, because it's dried on my hair, it's like, yeah. 
Okay. So. This is how it looks. This is how my hair looks right now. It's so funny because before it was like, um, it's actually warm on my head. It was getting like a bit crunchy, but you know, it feels soft. Like it actually feels, yeah, it feels soft. I don't know if I should, I don't think I have to leave it in anymore. I did like an hour probably to be honest roughly that so what i'm going to be doing right now i'm going to be washing this out my head i'm not going to be putting any shampoo no nothing like i'm just going to be washing this out my head right now okay guys so this is my hair straight out the um like the only thing that i did was just wash the thing out um i think okay so for one my hair is very soft like it's act, it's actually very soft the curl did not come back for the front part um yeah it did not come back uh i don't know i feel like i have to continue using it but for the most part um the areas that have uh my natural hair without it being damaged it's not too bad like it's actually soft that's the thing like it's very soft i don't know i don't know guys i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to wash my hair and then i'm just gonna wash and deep condition it wash condition and deep condition it and then i'll come back and show you guys hopefully it's in like no but yeah i'm gonna go do that right now guys so this is the next day um i don't know okay so i don't think it worked for sure i do not think it worked i think i'm going to actually my hair is still a little bit wet just a little bit but again i don't think it worked so what I'll be doing is I'm definitely going to be giving myself a clip. t-shirt as a guide for me to see what area I want to cut off or I'm probably I don't know so I'm gonna go ahead and firstly detangle my hair I, I've, I've watched a I watched a couple of videos on how 
they actually like um trim their hair so i got these shears from amazon this is what i'll be using and basically i there's a few there are a few methods that you could use basically if your hair is like in this natural state like how it is right now um you can use your comb and comb it out and it goes along your hair smoothly until it reaches the part that needs to be cut off and that's where you know what part to cut or you could also wear a white t-shirt like i'm wearing right now and when you put it against your hair then you will see that it is right here that needs to get cut off just because that's the part that is the thinnest you can't see through right here you want to cut off any part that you can actually see through i'm gonna put you guys down a bit so you guys can see so you see what i'm gonna stretch it all you guys can see all the way up to like right here and I feel like that's where I'm gonna cut it off so like that section charger take it off put it on charge that it's so ghetto but i just want to show you guys what i have so far and yeah some part i forgot off right there so i actually just took out some more sections so go in and cut it a little bit more maybe like further on down maybe like three months from now or four months from now um but yeah this is pretty much what it looks like and honestly it feels so much better like i don't care like it feels like a weight has been lifted off my head and i like it this is 
how much I chop off. Not a lot, but you know, yeah. It's giving. It's it's definitely giving. <laughs> it's giving something. It's definitely more bouncy. I wish I did cut a little bit more, but you know. It is what it is. Basically, my hair was not fixed, okay? Like, it was not fixed. But I'm not yet ready to do the big chop. I'm going to try one last product. I did not do the protein treatments, actually, which is, like, the treatment with avocado and, um, what's it called? Avocado egg and all that. I didn't do that treatment. So I'm gonna try two more things before I do a next big chop because if my curls don't come back after these two things then I'm definitely going to be doing a big chop. So for now I'm just gonna leave my hair in this protective style which is what will be under my wig for the next week and a half um, until I'm ready to take it down or until I decide which one. So I'm gonna do a Afro G treatment so I asked my sister because she loves like natural hair things too. And her hair is pretty much like my hair texture. Um, she has the same jeans as me. So I'm guessing that whatever would work for her would work for my hair as well. I'm guessing. Um, but I did ask her like, you know, what she thinks would work for my hair. If I should try to like get back my hair from like heat damage. And she told me about this product called Afoji. So I'm going to try to get that. And I'm also going to try to do the protein treatment, which is the avocado and the eggs and all of that, the olive oil, that treatment as well. So I'm going to try two more, two more things. And then after that, if it doesn't work, then I'm done with this, okay? But for now, this is the end of this video of me trying to put my hair together um, or getting back my hair together. If it does work out, then I'm definitely going to do a big chop again and that's just what it is if that's what i have to do that's just what i have to do and that's what you get when you don't take care of your natural hair guys um but thank you guys for watching and i hope my natural hair girlies are happy that i am back on this natural wave with you guys as well but like i said i'm not leaving out the wigs because right now i'm about to put a wig on my head so i'm not leaving it out but I'm definitely going to be paying more attention to my natural hair. But thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. And if you guys have any recommendation, definitely put it down in the description box. Um, I'm still a little bit confused as to what type of curls I have. I feel like I'm a 3C, 4A. But I don't know. That's what I think I am. If you guys have any clue as to what texture my hair is or what type of curls, then definitely let me know. Um, and if you guys have any other advice regarding, like, you know, my natural hair, definitely put it down in the description box. But for now, I'm literally just going to put my hair up like this. Put, um, I'm probably not going to put my wig on tonight just because I think I'm, I i do not want to do anything more to my hair. Um, I feel like I'm going to put the wig on tomorrow. Like, kind of give my hair a breather. But yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I'll definitely see you guys in my next one. Mwah!